USC Institute of Urology is really a wonderful place to train if you are looking for a residency program. Uh, why do I say this? Firstly, the faculty, the fellows, and the residents are a cohesive unit, that there are no ego problems, and we actually enjoy each other's company and help each other and support each other, firstly. Secondly, from the surgical aspect, uh, there is no team, in my view at least, that brings the same level of expertise and skill and talent in open surgery as we do in minimally invasive robotic surgery, endourology, etc. So uh, from a surgical training perspective, it really is, I feel, uh, as good as it gets. Thirdly, in addition to the uh, surgical aspect, we are into heavy duty research. So. Uh, our team of uh, surgeons, uh, clinicians, uh, PhD researchers, all of us are engaged daily in the research activities. Uh, so much so that our department, for example, last year published over a hundred papers in peer-reviewed journals. Um, our department has five NIH and Department of Defense grants. Um, so that's the third reason. And uh, the final reason is the residents and fellows at uh, the U.S. Institute of Urology really form a close-knit family kind of team, okay? Uh, so they support each other and the residents get a lot of autonomy to be able to do uh, surgical procedures, uh, to a rather advanced degree that this kind of autonomy may not be available at every hospital. The reason I believe uh, USC Institute of Urology is an outstanding place uh, to uh, do residency training is because the depth, breadth, intensity and scale of open and minimally invasive surgery that we do is unparalleled and this is surrounded by intense cutting edge research, both surgical, clinical, and basic science and translational. And finally, all this is done in an atmosphere of friendship, collegiality, support for each other, uh, so that we can all be the very best that we possibly can. Well, USC has a long tradition uh, to education. USC Urology, you know, is one of the top uh, sought-after programs in the country. And uh, as such, we have a, a subgroup of a faculty meeting uh, at regular intervals to look at all aspects of the teaching program, you know, for the medical students, for the, uh, for the residents and for the fellows as well, to make sure that we're always up to date with new technologies and also with new teaching, uh, new ways of teaching. You know, this is where our simulation lab comes in, you know, where, you know, residents and fellows can learn how to do a new technique and embrace new technology before they even go to the patient for the first time. The reason to uh, seek out a fellowship at USC is the fact that, number one, you have the top technology and the top techniques being teached, uh, taught here, and in particular, the volumes that you have, you know, and the teaching environment, you know, the didactics, the uh, teaching step-by-step -step in the operating room, and also the continuity of care, meaning the patient out of the operating room, follow up and then transitioning back into the care of the community urologist. These are things that uh, you, know, you need to learn in an environment where you are protected in that you have su uh, supervisors who uh, are with you at all time. At the same time, there needs to be a certain graduated responsibility and this is what we do to our uh, program, you know, teaching simulation first at the computers and then going to the operating room under constant supervision of uh, somebody who is a master in the field that you are uh, in to uh, learn. 
The diversity of the teaching program actually reflects the diversity of the uh, faculty. The same thing you know, is for our uh, fellows. Uh, they come from a vast uh, segment of the world. You name it, you know, uh, they are basically you know, coming because they read in the journals, you know, U.S. Urology does something new and they uh, go to the meetings and they see U.S. Urology is doing something new and groundbreaking and they want to be there. U.S. Urology is open at all times, you know, uh, the entire faculty, you know, has a passion to teach, you know, and this is something that I hear feedback uh, from the, the residents, from the medical students, from visitors from the outside coming through the apprenticeship. You know, uh, pretty much each and every one has in their own way uh, an appreciation and tells us, you know, how different it was from other experiences they had that before. So this is, I think, the best invitation, you know, is to have those people who went through the program speaking for us and not telling everybody, you know, we are open to accept you, you know, we want to teach you, we want you to learn. We, the faculty, we are lifelong learners ourselves, you know, and so this is an indirection that uh, I think brings out the best in all of us. Robotic surgery involves a lot of technology that uh, the surgeon has to be familiar with not only to know how to do the operation but know how to use the machine. So virtual reality, robotic simulation in the, developed in the last couple of years provides an opportunity for a surgeon to spend as much time as they want outside of the operating room to train to do well, to use this machine well, so by the time the patient comes to the operating room and they're doing the surgery live for real, they're not practicing. They are doing the surgery that they know and they are using equipment that they know very well already. We are one of the first adopters of simulation in robotic surgery. Uh, we are the site of training or uh, validation of the first, uh, one of the first simulators, the skill simulator for the Da Vinci robot. That was actually tested here in its prototype form for almost a year before it became commercially available. And as, as a result of that time with the prototype here, we were the first to publish the validation studies of the skill simulator uh, at, in the Journal of Urology, the first two publications of that nature. And the last thing is that our team here developed the first simulation for procedure-specific uh, uh, surgeries, and that was in partial nephrectomy. So Dr. Gill and myself, we partnered together with the leading firm in the country or in the world that develops simulation to make that experience procedure-specific. This program is going to impact you as a physician in many ways. Uh, primarily, you're going to get the kind of training that you're not going to get anywhere else. Uh, our facility is affiliated with the LA County Hospital. Uh, the patients that are seen there tend to be patients that wait until their situations are very dire. So you're going to see a broad spectrum of very complex surgical uh, cases there. Most of our residents speak very highly of that rotation, but outside of that, you're also going to rotate over at the Keck Hospital with Dr. Gill and Dr. Aaron and Dr. Desai and the minimally invasive surgery team and learn state-of-the-art robotic surgery. So you'll get this really great blend of big open surgical cases, but also all the newest technology, all of the minimally invasive technologies, all the robotic technologies. At USC, we have a long-standing legacy of turning out top-notch surgeons and the academic urology leaders of the future. Many of our uh, residents will go on to do subspecialty fellowship training, which gears you up for a career in academic medicine. Uh, this is where you're going to be teaching other residents and where you're going to be shaping the future of urology. Here at USC, we put a lot of value in making sure that our residents get the emotional support that helps them through their difficult clinical and educational rotations. Um, yes, they are very bright. Yes, they are very intelligent beyond their years, most of them, but deep down they're still young people. And a lot of them are far away from home. They maybe don't have any family or friends here, 
and as the program uh, manager, it is my job to, you know, be their surrogate mother, to do things for them, to make sure that they can focus on their education and their surgical responsibilities, or give them guidance, help them with uh, applications, um, really anything. Really just trying to put a personal touch on something that is very, can be very clinical and very formal. Even the littlest thing like offering to go to the post office for one of them, it's like a huge deal. So they tell me all the time that this makes a huge difference. One thing that gives you confidence to go out and do more is really feeling like you know what you're doing. And when you graduate your residency at USC, you're going to know how to do what you need to do when you get out there.